If you want cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and a whole bunch more, then check out G2A. A link is in the description below. Yo guys, what's up? It's Xers. Welcome back to another video. So we got a, a couple of stories here to talk about for some gaming news. Specifically, one is going to be Call of Duty based, uh, and it's actually very interesting. Our first official teaser for COD 2020, or at least it looks like it's a teaser, and we'll talk about it uh, because this was actually posted by the official Call of Duty account. So we'll talk about that. And then the second thing is actually going to be something pretty good from Ubisoft, who is kind of setting people's minds at ease when it comes to what to expect when it comes to prices here on next generation consoles. So with that said, let's jump into it. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like on the video. Super appreciate it. If you're new, obviously make sure you guys are subscribed. There's notifications on. And if you guys want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors, G2A for some cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and more. Check them out. Link down below. Or Control Freak and Scoff. Today is actually the last day that you guys can use code OGX for you to get 15% off Control Freak. Literally the best time to do it. Check it out. Link down below. With that said, let's jump into the story. So the first thing we're going to talk about is this Call of Duty post, the official Call of Duty teaser. Uh, and this was actually posted on Instagram by the Call of Duty account. And it says, Achievement unlocked 10 million followers to our Call of Duty community. Thank you. And they ended up posting some pictures, as you guys can see. And these pictures are pretty much just stuff from Warzone. You know, they've got some screenshots from Warzone. They're all very interesting stuff. But the craziest one is this final one hidden among the three images. And as you guys can see, it has woods on the right side of the map. Now we did talk about this a little bit ago. We made a video talking about how Sergeant Frank Woods was officially leaked to be coming to Warzone. There was audio that was found from data miners within the game when season four first dropped. And so we had audio lines, we had data lines as well. So we had audio files that were basically Sergeant Frank Wood audio within Warzone. And also we had strings of code that talked about a COD 2020 reveal and also Sergeant Frank Woods. So this, for you guys who are unaware, this guy's a character from the original Black Ops story. And so it's interesting that they are promoting him already. Season five has not launched yet. There's rumors that season five will have the COD 2020 reveal and that Sergeant Frank Woods will be kind of, uh, you know, historic or, or, or be a big part of this event. And so we have Sergeant Frank Woods officially teased for COD 2020. So we'll have to wait and see. But I don't know. Is it a tease for COD 2020? Let me know in the comment section below. So anyways, with that said, let's talk about our next story. This is actually another interesting one. This is from Ubisoft who says that it won't raise prices with next gen games for now. Okay. In contrast, uh, studios like 2K actually are going to be charging $69.99 for NBA 2K21. Now, the article says Ubisoft will keep its same pricing strategy for its next generation games coming this fall. Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemoto, I'm sorry if I butchered that name, said during an earnings call Wednesday, video games released during the Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 launch window. Keep that in mind, window, okay? Will remain at $59.99 at least for now. This is in contrast to a statement made by NBA 2K21 publisher 2K Games that its next-gen basketball game would cost $69.99, while the Xbox One, PS4, Windows PC, Nintendo Switch, and Google Stadia versions will remain $59.99. 2K Games said that Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 players won't get a free next-gen upgrade like other publishers of cross-gen games are offering. Current-gen games have largely cost $59.99 for 15 years since 2005 when the Xbox 360 was released. Standard prices didn't increase when the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One came out in 2013. 2K Games announced of its $10 increase signaled too many an industry-wide price increase was coming. Its statement was the first on next-gen pricing, and Ubisoft announcement means that there's clearly no consensus between publishers regarding prices. At least not yet. Ubisoft's wording during this call leaves room for a price increase at some point in the future. The statement specified that it is, quote, Christmas releases would remain $59.99 with no increase planned right now. It is entirely possible that Ubisoft will increase prices for fully next-gen games. During the game, Guillemoto was also careful in his wording that the focus of this pricing was on the game's release this holiday season. The publisher plans to release Watch Dogs Legion and Assassin's Creed Valhalla later this year on current-gen and next-gen consoles. 
Third party publishers typically set their own upgrades and are free to decide whether or not they'll include cross generational upgrades for free. Many developers are promising just that though. CD Projekt Red will offer one for Cyberpunk 2077, Crystal Dynamic for Marvel's Avenger, and Electronic Arts for two sports titles Madden NFL 21 and FIFA 21. Microsoft too has a system in place for this with its smart delivery feature. However, neither Sony nor Microsoft have announced the pricing of their first party games, and it's clear that there's no standard yet. We've reached out to Ubisoft for more information. So as you guys can see, there was a widespread belief that with next generation consoles, there was going to be a price hike, another $10. And I actually found it kind of hilarious because I did mention Call of Duty in this video. We talked about COD 2020, but uh, the first game to actually jack up the price from uh, when we got to the Xbox 360, uh, you know, and, and, and the games went up to $60 as a standard, it was actually a Call of Duty game. I believe it was actually World at War. I might be wrong on this, but I was reading an article saying that uh, one of the Call of Duty games was the first ones to increase the price up to $59.99. And after that became the standard, literally everyone was charging $59.99 for their games. And so, when we heard, you know, some of these games are going to be $69.99, a lot of people were like, holy crap, here it is. We're going to have an increase in price, and it's kind of expected at this one because of how much money goes into making some of these games, okay? A ton of money goes into them, but they make so much money back, and if they increase the price of games, and this is just my argument, they increase the price of games, uh, you know, people think, oh, it's gonna, the money is going to go to developers and the people who made the game. No, most of that money goes to the higher-up people, to the people who uh, are not directly involved with the game, so the big CEOs who are making their big fat bonus checks. So if the money was guaranteed that the extra 10 bucks we're paying is going to the actual developers, the people who are working on the game, who uh, I don't know if they're underpaid, but there's always people saying that they should unionize. But either way, if the money was going to them, then I would be totally cool with it. I wouldn't really have that much of a problem, especially since we get to decide if a game's worth it. If it's 70 bucks and we think the game is trash, we're not gonna buy it. If it's a really good game that has a really good story, like Ghost of Tsushima, bought it for 60, I would have bought it for 70 because the game is just that good. If it's a game that is a must have, then people are gonna buy it. And if not, then you know, developers and, and studios might lower the price down back to 60. So I guess it really is how confident are you in your game that it's going to sell if it's that good. So. With that said, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Hopefully you guys found the video informative and helpful and entertaining. If you did, drop a like on the video. Super appreciate it. If you're new, obviously make sure you do subscribe with notifications. Those are super important. Hit that little bell icon. And if you guys want to support the channel directly, you can do so by checking out my sponsors. Control Freak and Scuff. Code Ojexers gets you a discount. Last day for Control Freak for 15% off. Check them out. Link down below. And then also G2A for some cheap PC games, Xbox Live codes, and more. Check them out. Those guys help keep the channel running. So G2A, link down below. Click the link. Super appreciated. And then if you guys want to talk about anything or see what I'm up to or see what I talk about when it comes to stuff outside of even just gaming, Twitter is literally the best place to do so. Give me a follow over there at OGX where it's linked down below. You guys have an amazing day. Thank you so much for checking out the channel, for supporting it. I'll see you guys in the next upload. Take care. I'm out. Peace.